Hey, welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K24 video. Earlier today, WWE 2K unveiled a brand new trailer with additional look to new and returning match types, including special guest referee and casket matches. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. Whilst the trailer doesn't show off too many new superstars and additional features to previous beats, we do get a first look at some returning WWE superstars so let's dive in and see what we can uncover. The trailer starts out with another look at the brand new ambulance match type that was previewed last month as LA Knight and Roman Reigns battle it out in the Smackdown arena. The clip shows the tribal chief Roman Reigns throwing LA Knight from the top of the ambulance down to the outside, much to the excitement of the WWE Universe. Having played the match type myself, I can testify that throwing someone from the top of the ambulance is a must. And like I previously mentioned, I really hope that we can add tables to the match to give it that extra oomph. If the throw off from the top of the ambulance wasn't enough for Knight, Roman follows up with a powerbomb to the inside of the ambulance, shutting the doors on Knight's dreams of a victory. We then switch focus to WrestleMania as several Mania match contenders make their way to the ring, including the Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, John Cena, Cody Rhodes, Rhea Ripley, Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Now, I might not be as clued up when it comes to the male superstars, but from what I can tell, John Cena's attire looks to be from his SmackDown September 15, 2023 appearance, where he had a minor face-off with his former WrestleMania opponent, The Rock, backstage. Could this be a hint at their match being included in the upcoming WrestleMania showcase of the Immortal Showcase? I won't lie, I would be surprised not to see the match included as it features two of the biggest names to ever step foot in a WWE ring. We also get a look at Cody Rhodes' WrestleMania 39 entrance attire which looks gorgeous adorned with the white feathers as he makes his way to the ring. In previous years, an alternate showcase model hasn't always come with the additional entrance pieces due to the entrances not being included in the showcase. But seeing as Cody does have his Mania jacket, this gives me hope for any women included in the showcase especially the WrestleMania 39 version of Charlotte Flair, which I've already obsessed over way too much. To back up this theory though, we did get another look at the WrestleMania 39 version of Rhea Ripley, who also comes with her entrance jacket. So the deeper I dig, the more this theory is looking plausible. Judging by the quick snippet, it looks as though the WrestleMania 39 edition of Rhea Ripley does have the same entrance animation as last year, albeit looking completely badass regardless. What I will quickly note is that in this shot Rhea doesn't have the black face paint like in the showcase so maybe this is something we can remove ourselves or maybe there are two different Mania versions of Rhea, one with the face paint and one without. Next up we have a look at Triple H and judging by the clip it looks as though this Triple H attire and arena looks to come from WrestleMania 25 where he faced off against Randy Orton. As part of the feud, Randy Orton attacked Triple H's wife Stephanie McMahon, which I imagine will be used in the promo for the match, so here's me hoping that somehow through my own delusion that Stephanie will once again be part of another WWE 2K game. We then get some quick action in the ring as we see DX buddies Shawn Michaels and Triple H squaring off in what seems to be a classic arena thanks to the classic WWE logo, crowd sign and t-shirts. Triple H drops Michaels with a backbreaker before we once again see Hogan delivering a leg drop, this time to WrestleMania 6 upon The Ultimate Warrior. We then see Charlotte Flair take down Rhea Ripley with a natural selection in a reenactment of their WrestleMania 39 SmackDown Women's Championship match. Having thankfully played this showcase match myself, I can't tell you just how gorgeous the arena looks and how much the ringside trends and graphics truly make the arena pop. Sticking with Rhea, we then switch to the current day of default version of Rhea as she sets up Becky Lynch with a riptide through the announcer's table inside the Royal Rumble Arena. The action then spills backstage with another look at this year's updated backstage brawl as LA Knight crawls from the ambulance that Roman earlier decimated him in. As Knight attempts to get some revenge, we see him throw a stop sign at Jimmy Uso, literally putting a stop to Jimmy's actions. As many of us mentioned in our WWE 2K24 preview, throwing weapons in this year's game is so much fun and the clip here showcases just how much carnage you can cause and change up the match with one mere button press. As LA Knight continues to cause mayhem backstage, we see him attempting to apply some sort of leg move on Solo Sikor before being blindsided by Jimmy. Now when I was playing WWE 2K24, 
several times I noticed when I was playing that when you interrupt superstars in the middle of moves and submissions, they tend to react far better than what they have in recent years. I didn't get enough time to thoroughly test this out because quite frankly, I wasn't sure if it was just how I was interpreting it. But judging by the clip, it looks as though this very well might be a thing, with superstars now reacting to being attacked in the middle of a move, causing them to stop what they're doing. If this is true and correct, this is yet another small feature that overall will make the game so much better and lifelike. I just hope I'm not reading too much into it. As the backstage havoc continues to play out, we see Knight shoving Sakura from the top of the security cabin as he hurtles towards the floor. Continuing with the new updates, we see a pretty neat spot as LA showcases a new weapon grapple situation as he bounces Jimmy's head off the overturned trash can before then bouncing it off the boot of the car. He said it before and I will say it again, small new tweak, big new effect. I mean how cool does the new trash can interaction alone look? From the clip we can see that this is either a tag team backstage brawl with Knight and John Cena taking on the bloodline or it could be a fatal four way backstage brawl like we experienced in the build we played. As we move away from backstage action we get a new look at casket matches in WWE 2K24 as they make their debut in the 2K series. The sequence opens with the casket match itself making its way to the ring thanks to some help from WWE officials, similar to that of how the ambulance had its own entrance in ambulance matches. Don't worry, the irony isn't wasted on me that both the casket and the ambulance have their own entrance. It's just a shame that we can't give them their own theme song or maybe even some pyro. <laughs> like in the previous trailer, we see the WrestleMania opponents, Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker face off in the match type, with the new match type once again taking place inside the Royal Rumble Arena. Having already played the ambulance match, I imagine that casket matches will work in the same sort of way, with players having to whip drag or use the carry and drag system to place their opponent inside the casket before competing in a button mashed mini game. Whilst game mechanics could work in the same sort of way, I would love to see 2K bring in more match types like these as it really does open up more options, especially for those of us who like to create our own stories with the 2K engine. Now I'm not sure if it would be possible, but I would love to be able to fight on top of the casket lid when closed, acting similar to how tables work in 2K24. Slightly morbid maybe, but awesome nonetheless. Jokes aside, I can't wait to get my hands on a casket match and seeing as though women can compete in ambulance matches, I imagine that they can also face off in casket matches. That Dawn Marine Tori Wilson match is getting closer and closer. To round out the segment, we see the dead man torn on top of the casket as he puts Michaels away in what I imagine will be the default animation for all casket match victors. Moving away from casket matches and onto another new match type in WWE 2K24, we have another look at the special guest referee match as Solo Sokoa takes on Kevin Owens with Randy Orton acting as the special guest ref. The segment opens with Solo hitting an Urinagi on Owens in a bid to win the match, with Orton having his own idea on how things should play out. As the special guest referee, Orton ignores the three count, much to the annoyance of Solo, who then falls victim to an RKO from the Viper. Now this is the sort of stuff I've been dying for 2K to bring back, as special guest referee matches are the true test of friendships and I can't wait to get my hands on the match time. Or oh, you bet there are going to be hundreds of special guest referee matches, or should I say special <laughs> guest referee matches on the channel, with the only real question being, which superstar will I screw over? As the trailer moves away from the features, we get another look at some of the superstars in WWE 2K24 with another quick look at Cody Rhodes, LA Knight, Becky Lynch, Roman Reigns, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Seth Rollins, Trish Stratus and Bianca Belair. The trailer boasts an impressive 200 plus superstar roster made up of current day men and women as well as WWE legends. We then get our first look at some new WWE 2K24 models as Rey Mysterio dives out of the ring to take down the Judgment Day's very own Dirty Dom, Finn Balor and Damien Priest. The clip shows off another new tweak to this year's game as multiple superstars can now take the hit when diving from the ring creating another layer of realism. I can't quite pin down the exact date but it looks as though Rey is sporting a variation of his attire from his early 2023 Smackdown days where he formed the LWO faction alongside Zelina Vega. Whilst we don't get a clear look at the Judgment Day, from what I can see it looks as though Dom has received quite the update as he dons his heel persona for the very first time in the WWE series. I don't know about you but I'm really hoping for a 4 man Judgment Day entrance in this year's game and I can't wait to see if there are any more Judgment Day easter eggs. 
Sticking with the Judgment Day, as we round out the trailer, we see cover star Cody Rhodes hit a crossroads on Finn Balor, who looks to be sporting his Elimination Chamber 2023 attire. In a quick glimpse and you'll miss it moment, we get the complete and utter surprise confirmation of Muhammad Ali in WWE 2K24, which completely took me by surprise and I almost missed the reveal. Muhammad Ali acted as a special guest referee in the first ever WrestleMania after his retirement, making him a perfect fit with the return of special guest referee in this year's game. Having such a name like Muhammad Ali in the series makes me really want to see 2K bring in Wendy Richter and Leilani Kai for this year's game, as we really need some classic female representation in the series. And what better way than to start all the way back in WrestleMania 1? If you can have Muhammad Ali in, why not have Cindy Lauper in as a manager too? If that does happen, prepare to hear me fangirl like crazy. It's also worth noting that Brock Lesnar has indeed been removed from this year's Collects Edition cover after recent ongoing legal issues, which also saw him removed from WWE Supercard, amongst other things. Instead, WWE and 2K have replaced Brock with John Cena, a fitting replacement if I do say so myself. I will say that whilst the trailer is pretty cool in parts, it doesn't have the same effect, with most of the superstars' match types already being showcased this past week, due to most of us dropping content from the Royal Rumble capture event. There are some cool new additions like the weapon spots, but having new unrevealed superstars create those moments would have hit completely different. Had the trailer aired before everyone's content, I think that the majority of us would have been far more hyped after watching the trailer. There are some cool sneak peek reveals like the showcase model entrance attires as well as Muhammad Ali, but selfishly speaking, I would have loved to have seen some new female superstars spotlighted or even a different women's showcase match represented in the trailer. I will say though that I am still super hyped for special guest referee as well as the casket match, so seeing those brief snippets in the trailer hype me up for them that little bit more and I can't wait to see and play more of those in the coming weeks. So that's our breakdown of today's gameplay trailer and some of the little details within the trailer that you might have missed. Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the trailer as well as your takeaway from the trailer itself. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution.